we're going to go through one minute of hit, basic hit boxing combinations. Remember, using the names, not the numbers, so there's no confusion. One minute hit, not as 100%, working about 80% max, so it's not a true hit, but you'll still get something out of it, followed by a 30 second more moderate piece. So in other words, we move non-stop throughout the rounds. We do each round three times, so it's the same hit portion, same moderate piece for one minute. We're gonna do that three times before moving on to your next round. At the end of the session, guys, we're gonna hit up a Tabata set to make sure you get that sweat in so you're completely satisfied with the workout. But remember, guys, this isn't complicated, but I still want you to go for it. It's called a basic heavy bag hit workout, but I'm still gonna expect you to work harder than me. You ready for it, guys? First thing you're gonna do, get these heavy bag gloves on, get to the heavy bag, and uh, let me voice you through this awesome basic heavy bag hit workout. Let's get to it. It's round number one. Remember, no numbers. It's your left jab, right hand, left hook. So it's a jab, cross, left hook. Jab, cross, left hook. So it's a three punch combination. We're hitting that for one minute. And I know you can hammer this out. So again, jab, cross, left hook, nonstop, one minute. Let's go. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Now, what I want you to think about is that right hand's coming right back to the corner of your mouth. I'm about medium range, so I'm not all the way back, right? From the heavy bag, I'm about halfway between full range and close up. Remember your sets are one minute long. I'm breathing with every single punch. So hopefully you are at two, 30 seconds. I want you to throw that left hook around the side of the heavy bag, rip the right hand in, and I'm working at say a 60 to 70% effort, maybe a little bit less than that. So I want you to outwork me for this entire workout. So once you feel the flow of the combination, work a little harder than me. Often I will tell you throughout this session that I say basic, but that doesn't mean easy. It just means you can pick up the combinations without any issue. Three, two, one. Very good. First hit portion is done. Now a double jab. Double jab, which I often call the one, one. So jab, jab, and just work that. I'm moving around the heavy bag. So wherever you are, even if you're shadow boxing, move around. Remember, you can do the shadow boxing, guys. If you don't have the heavy bag, trust me, you'll get something out of it. 10 seconds, hit the double jab, work jab to, jab to the chest, jab to the jaw, jab to the forehead. Think about that. Two, one, let's go again. Jab, cross, hook. Let's go. One, two, three is the numbers. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. See there, I'm hitting the body shot with the left hook. So you can switch it up too and hammer that bad boy to the body. Throwing that left hook to the body. Of course you can do that. I am throwing combos at medium range. Once again, jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. If you need to see the combinations, they are listed below the timer on the bottom left hand side of your screen. Less than 30 guys. You gotta step on that left jab as you step into the heavy bag. Rotate that right hip around to throw the right hand. Snap the hook on the side of the heavy bag. Four, three, two, one, double jab. We hit the second piece of this. Double jab, snap it into the heavy bag, move around, snap it out. Breathe on every punch. A lot of times you guys are scared of making noise, especially if you're a beginner. Man, you better make some noise when you snap in that heavy bag. Boxers do that, right? If you wanna play the role, you gotta play the game. So make some noise as you snap out that jab. I wanna hear that. Three, two, one. All right, let's do it one more time. Show me that. Jab, cross, hook. Left jab, right cross, left hook. If you are a southpaw, it is a right jab, left cross, right hook, okay? This time I'm working on the inside. So step closer to the heavy bag, put that left foot slightly under the bag and work inside. So your punches are faster this, this set this hit portion it's one two three one two three jab cross hook jab cross hook jab cross hook breathing on every punch less than 30 
You can still work the body shots on these too while you're inside. Make sure that middle knuckle is making contact on the hook. You keep that shoulder blade down when you're throwing the hook. When you throw with that jab with that left shoulder to your jaw and dig into the heavy bag on that right hand. Two, one, yeah, with the double jab. Do that for me, come on. Throw it out there. Work the body, work the head. Move around. Balance on your feet a little bit. When you throw that double jab, step twice with the forward foot. Tap, 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 right? Jab, jab. You'll notice I'm trying to keep my right thumb on my right hand to the corner of my mouth when I throw that double jab. I want that right hand up. Two, one, and just like that, round number one is done. Round number two is a right hand, left hook, right hand. So your cross goes first, you eliminate the jab to start it off, then you rip that left hook, and then you throw another cross. So this one in the boxing game is a little more of a power combination, that right hand, left hook, right hand. So anytime you're working the pads or you're throwing a combo and sparring, typically when you throw this one, you mean business, and you're serious, man. It's like bad intentions, all right? So right hand, left hook, right hand, put a little more power into this combo. Let's go. Small steps after each combination. Right hand, left hook, right hand. Right hand, left hook, right hand. Breathe on every punch. Rotate the right hip on the right hands. Rotate the forward hip, the left hip on the left hook. Again, you can throw that right hand to the body or left hook to the body or all of them to the body if you want. 30 seconds. Don't be afraid to mix it up. Breathe on every punch. I'm looking at my target before I throw my punches at it. So that means you should be doing the exact same thing, right? 10 seconds, stay with it. When you're breathing, you can say the numbers. You can say the punches. Two, three, two, two, three, two. That also counts, right? Okay, your moderate piece, your 30 second piece is a step right, cross, step left, left hook. Step right, cross, step left, left hook. As you step to the right, push off your left foot. As you step to your left, push off your right foot. As you step to your right, push off your left foot. As you step to your left, push off your right foot. Two, one, and let's go. Two, three, two, which is a right hand, left hook, right hand. Come on. Now, do not be lazy with this and work at my speed. Once you've gone through the first portion of the round number one, you understand the combination. Therefore, you should be throwing a little bit faster. Once you feel how silky smooth the combination is, that's when you start to add in your power. That's when you start to have confidence. So put some energy into the heavy bag and think about increasing your conditioning, increasing your power output. Bring your hands back in that nice straight line back to the corners of your mouth. Breathe, step, move, and continue to put in work. 15 seconds. Ten seconds. Power on the punches. Control through your movement. And rest. Let's switch it up. Go for it. Step left two, which is a cross. Step right cross. Step left. Left hook. Step right cross. Step left. Left hook. Keep those hands up. Keep going. Five seconds. We're burning through round number two. Let's do it again. Right hand, left hook, right hand. Get after it. Now you're working inside. So our punches are a little shorter, right? 
Right hand, left hook, right hand. Right hand, left hook, right hand. So pick up the speed. And it's a little shorter power output, but still bad intentions, right? Dig into the heavy bag. Remember, you can throw the right hand to the body or to the head, left hook to the body or to the head. Make sure you're stepping, changing position on each after each combination. Cross, hook, cross, cross, hook, cross, step, cross, hook, cross, step, cross, hook, cross, step. Again, you're working more of the inside this combination. So you're working that left foot almost underneath the heavy bag or under the heavy bag. It's up to you. Both work. Three, two, one. There's your bell. Get set up. Step left, left hook, step right, cross, get after it. Even when you're step, when you're stepping, when you stop from the step or when you're planted, you want to visually look at that spot you want to dig into, right? If you want to throw a double left hook, you can throw a double left hook. If you want to throw a right hand when you get there, you can throw a double right hand. It's all good. You can mix it up. Confidence will do that to you. Rest. Good job, guys. Little rest, we're gonna head up round number three, just like that, and you have your left jab, cross, left hook, right hand. So you have a four punch combination. So you have your left jab, right cross, then a left hook, and then a right hand. Then you block right, and then you block left. So defense is involved. So a jab, cross, left hook, right hand, block right, block left, jab, cross, left hook, right hand, Block right, block left. One minute. Nice strong block as you bring those hands back in position. Get after it. Jab cross, hook cross, block right, block left. There you go. See, if you have to look at the screen for a couple shots to see it, that's all good. And here you can work inside or out. You can work medium range or long range. Just get comfortable with bringing that hand back up in a position, right? After that cross, then go right into your right block and then directly into that left side. Guys, one of the thing is you don't always have to give direction, yelling at you guys to coach, you know, to help coach you through. You're gonna, I know you're gonna get there. I mean, 15 seconds left. I know you're going to figure it out. I don't have to be yelling at you. If we're in person and you need a little bit of a boost, I give it to you. But now it's a learning curve. Five seconds. You're learning. And then the second or third time you go through the session, just drive through it. I'll leave it up to you. Rest. Jab, jab, cross, then cover. Double jab, right hand, then cover. So your defense is continuing with the cover after the cross. Jab, jab, cross, cover. All right? Get after that again, 15 seconds, and change up the pace on that double jab. It can be hard, a little faster, you can rip the cross a little harder, but it's, you know, it's a recovery 30 second piece. Let's go after it again. That one minute piece is a jab cross, hook cross, block right, block left. Let's go. And like I said, I don't have to yell at you right now. Feel the flow of the combination. Focus your energy on that first. Understand the combination. And then you really don't need me after that. You just have to be told what to throw and then you just start to get better. You improve immediately once you feel the rhythm of the, com of the combination. 30 seconds. Don't forget to move. Move around a little bit. Just because you're blocking doesn't mean you have to be staying still, right? Block, then move. Block, then move. 15 seconds. Nice work, crew. Keep it up. 10. Jab, cross, hook, cross, block, block. Jab, cross, hook, cross, block, block. And time. Excellent. Jab, jab, cross, cover. Move around. Get on those toes, on those feet. Work on changing direction. Don't forget to cover. Oh, 
Always when I'm throwing my hands up to cover, I'm, I literally think about punches coming back at me. I'm blocking those punches. I'm confident that nothing's getting through and I can easily throw again after. All right, one more time, guys. Step inside to throw this combination for your last one. Jab cross, hook cross from the block right, block left from the inside. So you see my hands moving a little bit faster, so you should be moving faster, of course. Pop, 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 block, block, move. Pop, 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 block, block, move. Pop, 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 block, block, move. Visualization, 30 seconds, is huge. Even when you're working out, you should never just work. Put yourself in different scenarios. Are you not moving your head? Start moving your head. Do you find yourself standing in one spot? Get out of it. Are you letting your hands drop? Pick them up. Are you holding your breath? Start to breathe, right? Are you attacking or defending? Think of all of it, less than 10 seconds. Are you defending, then attacking, right? All right, one more time, let's go. Jab, jab, cross, cover. You got this, jab, jab, cross, cover. We're working through the end of round number three. Nice, strong finish coming up. Change those directions. Three, two, one. Amazing work, guys. Here we go. Round number four. Cross, left hook, cross, left hook. Then you're snapping back. Or it's also called a feint. So when you throw this cross, left hook, cross, left hook, you just think about snapping back. You can snap back with a step back at the same time. Or you can keep that front foot planted and just bring your torso back away from your forward foot both work try both have fun with it it's the cross left hook cross left hook snap back you're doing that for again one minute ready there you go cross left hook cross left hook snap back move Always finishing with that left hook. Snap back, throw a combination, switch directions. When you're snapping back, imagine a jab or a cross is coming straight at your nose and forehead and you're just ducking out of the way or snapping back or fainting out of the way and coming back and firing again. 25 seconds. Another excellent combination to help you feel silky smooth, give you some confidence, try something different. When you come off that snap back, rip the right hand. Excellent, good guys, let's go. Duck right cross, duck left jab. Duck right cross, duck left jab. That's right, don't forget to breathe. Lots of movement here. When you're ducking, think of a punch coming at you, coming at your ear and you're ducking under that. As soon as you come up out of that duck, release your hands. Five, four, three, two, one. Cross, left hook cross, left hook, snap back. Cross hook, cross hook, snap back. Cross hook, cross hook, snap back. You see that punch coming at you before they release it. You know they're throwing it, so you have time to faint out of the way. You're confident enough to load that back leg as you faint back, so you can rip that right hand straight down the pipe to counter. Turn that back hip over as you throw that first right hand. And that last left hook can be to the body or to the head. 15 seconds.
Get that feint in there. Get that snap back. Four, three, two, one. Very good. Duck right, cross, duck left, jab. Change positions after every duck. You got this? Yeah, I know you do. Come on. On the inside of my gloves, I have work hard. I always want to remind myself to just put in a little more effort. Right? The same way I remind you guys. Remember, your intent is everything. Four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Let's do it one more time. Cross, hook, cross, hook, snap back, inside. So now you're just like your other rounds, you're working the inside, snap back, counter, move, and rip. We're moving fast, guys. You guys are putting some serious work. This is a fun heavy bag session. Yes, again, basic, but not simple. But I know you guys can grasp it. 30 seconds. Inside. Fast hand. Snap back. Counter. Move. There you go. Come on. You got this. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. Stay with it. Keep your vision strong. Make sure you can see your target. As you snap back, visualize that punch coming at you. Your... Your... You're eluding that, you're coming back at it. Last piece, 30 seconds, duck right, cross, duck left, jab, snap that jab. I want you to snap the jab, snap the cross as you come one of those ducks. Boom, duck, snap it, just like that. 15 seconds. Ten seconds. Straight through, and time. Awesome work, guys. Round number five, we start working the uppercuts, okay? So you're gonna throw a jab, right uppercut, and then a right cross, left uppercut. So you're throwing opposite hands. The jab, so the left jab, then you go directly into that right uppercut. Then you hook up that right cross directly into that left uppercut. And that's your one minute piece. You move with that non-stop. You can scrape the bag with the uppercuts or you can go and you can make contact with it. Whatever feels most comfortable, but I want you to snap the jab to set up the six, snap the cross to set up that five or that left uppercut. Go. Non-stop. Tap, 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 tap. Keep that tempo. One, six, two, five. One, six, two, five, which is a jab right, cross left. Jab right, cross left. Good job, guys. I'm working from the outside, so you can work from the outside on this one. It's just a little longer uppercut. I'm still digging into the bag, though. I hope you are, too. Remember, if you want to scrape the bag, that's fine. It's all good. Here's where you'll probably start to feel your arms getting tired if you haven't already, right? Five, four, three, two, one. Amazing work. Here, freestyle. Do whatever you want. Plain and simple. I don't want you to stand still when you're freestyling. I want you to think about using all the punches you know and have learned. Think defense, head movement, 15 seconds. Not as hard as you can, of course. You're just working at a moderate pace, but you're still putting in work. Just lots of control. Think active recovery. And good. Let's go. Cross, left uppercut, jab, right uppercut. Forty-five seconds. Again, a rhythmic combination. 
you're using the even hand and an odd hand, an odd hand and an even hand when you're thinking about numbers, or simply opposites. Right cross, left uppercut, left jab, right uppercut. That's all you're doing. And now you probably feel the rhythm of the combo and you can just work a little bit harder with a little more fluidity. That's the idea of these basic sessions. They're not easy. The combinations are just basic and a little more flowy and fluid. Three, two, one, good job. Freestyle. Work body, work head, change your angles. Ten seconds. Work your angles around the heavy bag. Shift right, shift left, hands up, defense, two, one. Let's go one more time. Cross, left uppercut, jab, right uppercut. This is your last one minute set. You have a 30 second set and then you hit up a Tabata piece to finish. But first, do what you gotta do. Throw that cross, left uppercut, jab, right uppercut for another 35 seconds. Small movements, you're not standing in one spot. Even if you move one is to the left, one is to the right, it's all good. You're working inside, a little more inside guys, get in there. Nicely done. 15 seconds. You can feel the energy here, right? You know the energy is picked up because you're you're starting to figure out the com the combinations. You're sweaty. Your energy is solid. You're having fun with it. Two, one, good. And then now, freestyle. You can put in as much work as you want here. If you want to work a little harder because your last round was a little slow, then make it up right here in the 30 second piece before you hit your Tabata. It's all good. 20 seconds, jabs, uppercuts, crosses, hooks, S shifting, angles, cover, block, it's all you, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, quick rest. Your final round, if you look at the screen right now, you'll see 20 seconds maximum effort and a 10 second Rest, so it's 20 seconds on as hard as you can. 10 seconds, rest, not doing a thing. We do that eight times. We're gonna do each combination that you throw twice. So you have four total combinations, all right? This is all freestyle work, guys. So your first one, just like your last 30 second sets, is throw whatever you want for 20 seconds as hard as you can. Are you ready? Go. Dig into the heavy bag. You can stand on one place for this. It doesn't matter. This is all about output. Bring your hands back. Put dents in the heavy bag. We got you down with the timer with the bell. Three, two, one, rest. 10 seconds. Stay in position. Don't move too far away. Three, two, same thing. Combinations, freestyle, max. Get after it. Come on, guys. 15 seconds. How many punches can you unleash in 20 seconds? Four, three, two, one. Rest. Change positions on the heavy bag. Try something new. Go. Here it's a jab and then freestyle. Jab. Freestyle, jab, and then freestyle. It's quick. Strong jab, then let your hands go. Throw as many as you want, just start it with a jab. There you go, now you got it. Start it with a jab, let your hands go. Two, one, rest. Your next set, same. Jab, and then freestyle. Two, one, go. Start the combination with a jab. Then shred it. Tear that heavy bag apart. Make sure you're breathing. Bring your hands back. Five seconds. 
one rest next set of combinations two in a row cross then freestyle right hand start the combo and freestyle go power on that first right hand cross freestyle rip it freestyle seven six five four three two one rest yeah see i'm encouraging you I, we got this come on together two one go cross freestyle cross freestyle cross freestyle 10 seconds guys three two one awesome job here coming up left hook freestyle left hook freestyle you're moving you're already going remember on the left hook it can be body or head body or head three two one rest it up same deal hook that's a left hook freestyle go Come on, guys. Dig into the heavy bag. Three, two, one, rest. Now, come on, that's done. Now just put in jab cross nonstop. Jab cross nonstop, right here. Hooks nonstop, right here. We're in OT, this is it. You see the timer, there's only 50 seconds left. Uppercuts, non-stop. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And we're gonna repeat, repeat those one more time. Jab cross, non-stop. Yeah, keep it up. Hooks. Non-stop, go. Only 15 seconds left. Uppercuts, finish strong, non-stop. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Breathe. Shoulders feel good, right? Finish strong, guys. Four, three, two, one. You guys are amazing. Another awesome workout done. Make sure you hit the button right here, guys. It says subscribe. Hit the notifications tab right there. Nate Bauer Elevated. Make sure you click that too. And if you want to see the newest workouts playlist, it's up there to the right-hand side. Good job, guys, and I'll see you for the next session.